Well, howdy, 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 this is the third try. Yeah. It is September. Seven. September? Where did I get September at? No idea. Well, it's July. <laughs> 17th, 2022. It is way after 4.03 p.m. now. What is time is it now? It is 4.23 tried to make the video twice and then it said I didn't have enough storage that's one drawback on doing this on your phone and even though I thought I had you know made room if you don't have it sitting in your trash evidently in your on your on your in your photo albums it's still taking up space so make sure you delete that I guess we'll find out anyway this is gonna be a rant video as you guys can tell by the title and then tomorrow or something we'll catch you up on the rest of the events um, Nothing bad. So, um, Brad got paid Friday for disability, and that's when we buy, that's when we pay most of our bills. And, um, then we'll buy what we need, like the, more of the pantry items and stuff. We cut that way back, because things are tight. You, you all know with inflation, things are tight, tight, tight. And the bills were a little larger than we expected them to be, like the water bill and stuff. Um, well, that was water and electric. That's yeah. why it was higher, the electric. Because it's working harder to cool the home. Yep. My our electric bill, our, our water and electric and trash pickup are all in one with the town of Sharpsburg. So, what? Oh, I was just thinking about since we live... Like a half a mile outside the city limits, we have to pay an extra hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check that out. Nobody told us that, but anyway, it is what it is, right? So anyway, some of the other bills were higher than we expected too. I think that's due to inflation also, and I know y'all were feeling it too. So we decided. We cut way back on what we were going to order. Like, I was going to order more dog food. They have plenty for a month. I did not do that. Instead of buying the bigger, you know, like 120 count of trash bags, I bought the 40 and, and all, all that kind of stuff. So we weren't ordering that much. And when we get ready to order, we use three different apps. We use Food Lion. We like Food Lion the best because it's closer to us, and, and we like in their stores. The prices are very close, if not sometimes better than Walmart. We like Amazon, but sometimes you got to really be careful on the prices because, you know, um, sometimes stuff will be a super deal, and sometimes it's like, mmm. So, um, and in Walmart. And we try not to use Walmart because we've had issues with Walmart before. Let me say, and I do not mean any disrespect for anybody that works for Walmart. We have family members that work for Walmart. <clears throat> but I am so tired of Walmart comes into the towns and they act like they are saving the town. We're going to employ so many people. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to supply or employ so many people they don't tell you they're going to employ them most of them part-time and pay them like crap and give them no benefits and that's a big issue <clears throat> and we're going to have the lowest prices now watch what they do and if you ever really watch and i find it really interesting when they first come in they have super low prices right it's like almost like they wait until they know that you're pretty confident that you can go there and it's going to be the lowest price. So you stop paying attention as much. And you have the security of thinking that whatever items you're buying is, is you know, the same price as it has been. And they slowly start raising prices. Or one of the favorite tricks I've noticed them doing, and they do it even on their website, is all of a sudden like the great value let's say sandwich bags they're not available you can buy the more expensive Ziploc bag but not the cheap ones or the favorite trick with if you're ordering is you can only go pick it up well if I wanted to go pick it up I wouldn't be on your website to 
have the order shipped. Do they not take into account that some people are... What if I was in a wheelchair and what if I was homebound? And then... I'll get into this... We'll get into this whole thing. So, I really, really do not like Walmart for that reason. Sometimes you can score some phenomenal prices. And it is nice well, back when they were open 24 hours like ours isn't. Used to be, but it's not now. Was it ever open 24? No, well, we don't know. We moved yeah. during the pandemic. We don't have any idea. I know the one in Crawfordville used to be open 24 hours, right? I know the ones in, in, in Casper were open 24 hours. And this one, I think they close at 8.30, which I'm really surprised. That's Do they? Yeah. Um, but I forgot where I was going with it. But, I mean, so I'm not... They used to be better than they are now. So, we place our order. We got a little bit of stuff from Amazon because they like the coffee with much better price than than um, uh, Walmart. Much better price. We got our sweetener there. I got. I did go ahead and get the great big, I think it's 2,000 count box or whatever of the sweetener. Um, and, you know, just a few other things. I need a few things for the business, you know, um, and then we place an order with Walmart. After hassling on their website, because I want the thing shipped, why would I place the order if I want to go pick everything up, or I can pick things up even at different stores now, that, I didn't tell you, that's just one of their favorite things now, too. Mm -hmm. Is they may want you to go to Rocky Mountain pick up a couple things, and you could go to Wilson and pick up a couple things. You know, one time they were even trying to get me to go to like Greenville and pick up a couple things. I'm not gonna travel an hour one way, like to Greenville, and you know. So after you fight, and you finally find the few items that they'll ship, or say they're shipping. Be aware of this. Say they're shipping, right? You pay for it. Then you find out that now they split the order. And part of the order now is coming from your local store, which used to deliver groceries and no longer did. We used to pay a monthly fee to have our groceries delivered. I would, we would order the groceries, they would deliver them. This is was back when Brad was 24-7 using a walker and a rollator. So, they, they, they stopped that. So they su suspended it for our area. No notice or anything. So, we stopped paying that monthly fee. So, we um, they find out that part of the order is going to be delivered from our local store. Not real true about it, but didn't think too much of it. You know, told Brad yesterday, you know, be wary because, you know, they're going to deliver. It was like a big thing of fabric softener. And laundry detergent, and what was the other thing in there? There was one other thing it in there. It wasn't the um, fabric, or the, I don't remember. I can't remember what it was. I was thinking it wasn't the cooking spray. No. I can't remember. There's one other thing. I don't even know what, if it was, I don't know, it was something small. Trash bags. It was the trash bags. Okay. So, he goes out. First off, they were too lazy to even put it on our stairs. They put it out on one of our lawn chairs. So, Brad goes out there and gets it. And, I mean, this is supposed to be heavy, right? He brings in this one bag. He goes, I don't think all this stuff is here because this is not that heavy. And I said, well, it should be pretty heavy. The laundry detergent, I buy a big thing of it last couple months. And, you know, the kind of has the spout, you know, and, and stuff. And... He opened up the bag. We were getting ready to leave anyway. And um, it had just a fabric softener and trash bag. He went back out and looked. Nowhere around is that laundry detergent. Now, on their website, it said delivered. Well, okay. So, like, okay. Came from our local store. Brad calls the local store. After we get, and I know they're busy. It was Saturday after payday. But after we get kind of, you know, spotted all around the store, I mean, hand it off. Then they tell us they can't transfer us back to the pickup. 
so she gives us a number Brad called. They say they don't have anything to do with that. They don't have anything to do with that at all. They're just a pickup. That's just on the website. Nothing they can do about it. So Brad calls back. I think it's customer service. She never identified as customer service. You know, very unprofessional. Mm -hmm. And so then she said, well, you'll just have to call Walmart.com. So we look up Walmart.com. Brad calls. Nope, nope, nope. That wouldn't come from your local store. Because if you're having it shipped, it would come from our warehouse. We're trying to explain. No. If you look, and I don't think she even asked for the order number, did she? She did. Oh. Uh, she said, no, no, that would not come from your local store. And we're like, it did. It did. On on the website, on our receipt, it said that it, and it, other things have come from the local store. Well, there's no way I guess they can track that. So whoever decides they're not going to deliver everything is making bank because... You know, they could just pick and choose. Well, I do need laundry detergent. I think huh. I'll keep this. And maybe I need, you know, something else. And I'll keep that. Because there seems to be no recourse. So, after... And Brad was nice, but she was really not listening. Of course, she's another person that I'm sure is not in the United States. Well, we wanted to get an, a replacement item. Couldn't do that. Not sure why we couldn't do that, but we couldn't do that. Because they had no, they had no way to order that for us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why do I call with a problem with my order if you can't? So, <clears throat> going to refund it. Okay. Then Brad goes to voice his unhappiness in Walmart in general because it's not our first problem with these guys. That's why we quit doing business with them. <clears throat> she offers us a $15 credit. And I'm like, no. I'm not going to do business with you anymore. Now I know you're saying, oh, you should, probably should have just taken it. No, because I'm not going to do business with them anymore. So what they did was we had, we still had a part of an order coming. And we said, we want you to cancel that order. Cancel the other part of the order, which was just like some cooking spray and dishwasher uh, detergent. And no, she couldn't do that. It already shipped. Couldn't do that. So she finally, after Brad talked with her for a while, decided to refund us, even though it's being sent. Refund us. It was only like twelve dollars or yeah. something. Um, you know, but tell you what, I will never do business with them again. They are not reliable. They don't seem to be accountable for anything. And everybody makes mistakes. We know that. But this is not the first time. I've been charged. I've I've asked for replacements on items damaged. And, and I've been charged for them again and not ever received. And then every time they want you, you say you have an item damaged or something or it's the wrong item. Now what they want you to do is take it to the store. That I do not understand. Walmart, get your stuff together because if I ordered it and you're telling me that my order that was shipped is completely separate from my local Walmart, why do I have to take the item to my local Walmart to have them handle it? Makes no sense to me. Um, one of the things, the a lot of the reason we order is because with both of us having mobility issues, especially if it's carrying big, heavy stuff, um, trying to go up and down these stairs multiple times. And uh, I have been looking into what it costs to get a, a wheelchair ramp, but, you know, we're looking at $3,000. And, and uh, I don't think we need one yet. I don't think we do either. We're working hard on that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so we have no problem going to, like, our local food line and getting groceries. In fact, anymore, we rather enjoy that to go once a week, get our produce and, and milk and that kind of stuff. But if it's super heavy stuff, yeah. Because I have, you know, this shoulder problem, this arm problem, and Brad with his knee and, and, and you know, still recovering from hip surgery and his, his chronically bad back. Um, that gets to be a little hard. Uh -huh. 
but it doesn't make any difference if they're not even going to put it on the steps and you have mm -hmm. to go all the way. I mean, you know. Yeah. And we do have a shopping cart, a classical one that Brad takes out, and that does help. But, I mean, why bother? It's just such a hassle anymore. So I go to, we go to Food Line yesterday. See, in this, we were getting ready to walk out door when this all transpired. So an hour later, we're finally leaving. I needed to get out of the house. He did, too. We really hadn't been anywhere. We All, all we did was go over to the vape store because uh, I wanted to get another one of these. And then we um, went to, we were going to go to Family Dollar. You know, and I know everywhere has got health problems. We're sitting in a parking lot, and, and the gal sitting in the vehicle next to us says they're not open. And she said, and she works there, but she said whoever was supposed to open in the morning never showed up. So she unlocked the door, but she shut it and locked it. I think she was waiting to see if there was even any any money ready or anything. I mean, because <clears throat> her husband was still waiting out in the vehicle, so I'm not sure what was going on. So we left, and we decided to go to Food Lion. We were going to go to the other family dollar, and that's almost all the way into Rocky Mountain. Not a real far thing, but I didn't think we were going to be going that far. I was driving because Brad's back was really hurting him, and he had taken one of his muscle relaxers. And, gee, I don't know. Silly ass, we don't like to have him drive when he's doing that. <laughs> so, Jelly Bean, calm down, girlfriend. So, um, we end up going to Food Lion because... I said, well, we're this far in. We might think we're a food line. He goes, well, they're right next to each other. So we went there and got, got some things we needed, you know. And I found out, like, the laundry detergent was, I found an even bigger container, like 210 loads for the same price of nine ninety nine. So, um, you know, well, again, anyway, we really like the, the food line, and I like their, um, their label and stuff, too, so... You know, comparable prices. Mm -hmm. We've had really good luck with the private yeah. label. Yeah, I like having a local grocery store. I really do. I like knowing I don't have to go 20 minutes away for a small item. Like, the, <clears throat> there's a food line closer to us that we do normally go to. Um, but we were headed in that direction. So, you know, Piggly Wiggly and Rocky Mountain is pretty good, too. Quit, girlfriend. Wow. Are you all right? And Aldi's is pretty good. You know, the only thing I don't like about Aldi's is their produce does not last very long. And I know other people have said that. And, um, you know, so you better make sure you can use it right away. You want to come up here? Do you want to come up here? Okay. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Okay. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, everyone. What? And when when was it we found out that her diaper had been <laughs> The other night, Brad and I shut the, <clears throat> the dogs out of, out of the room because we needed to get some stuff done in there and didn't want to have them under feet, right? Once in a while, parents even need some time alone with their children. So, they were very unhappy with it. Mm -hmm. And... Miss Thing here decided to punish us, chew off her diaper, and then poop on the floor. Didn't you? And then we would ask her what she did. And because we let them in the room, and of course, then I noticed that she's snuggling up to me bare butted. And I asked her what she did, and she'd hide her head, right? You don't want to talk about it now, see? No. She does not want to talk about it now. <laughs> Because she was punishing us. So there were diaper bits everywhere. All over the front room. And stuff. She's just, she's a character. She'll get, if they get a hot spot, I have this stuff I bought from Chewy. <laughs> and it's got some lidocaine in it. It's quite nice. But you spray it on her and then she gets the biggest toot. And she, like, you know, will scratch with her front feet, you know, on a carpet. And then she'll even... Stand up and brass out today, and she'll kick her hind legs at you like, you know, like a donkey would kick home. <laughs> quite, quite the attitude. <laughs> right? You can be naughty, right? Of course, she loves it. And since this video's gone this long, I guess I'm going to be okay. I'll go ahead and catch you guys up with um, things are getting better with the depression. Of course, the sun's finally out, and that does help. But when you are 
for me anyway, when you know that you're chronically depressed and have that tendency anyway, it's just in my DNA, even, and then you have things, you know, that happen, and especially with the latest family drama, it really affected me. Once you know what the problem is, can you get her to stop? Jelly beans. Huh? Come here, Jelly beans. Let's get that spray. Um, let me give her a bath later. I don't know if that's going to happen today. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, once you know what the problem is, that's half the battle for me. Sure. Then you have to take steps to go, okay, so this has happened. Nothing you can do to change that. So what are you going to do now, Teresa? What are you going to do now to help with your depression and to have a, a good life? And so I've been really examining what I want, what I need, what I can do, what's realistic that I can do. But you know, we all get that. It's like, we're like, okay, I'm going to lose 100 pounds in 30 days. And, you know, and it's like, really? Talk about it might take a year, and that's okay, but, you know, or longer. But it's not going to happen in 30 days. I mean... I'm just going to have water and bread. That's it. And not too much bread because that's carbs. So, you know, one slice of bread and I'll just cut cut it in little cubes for the entire day. And I'll count out the cubes. And so I can I can know that for three meals I can have five cubes. You know. I've been on some diets almost like that in uh -huh. the past. So anyway, um, so I've been working on steps on that. Um, you know, we can't move. We cannot afford to move. We would love to go back to Florida. We cannot right now afford to move. I mean, it would take at least a couple years, if not longer, if we can. Let's be realistic. And is it really worth the cost? Or can we make it, make a nice life where we're at? Because, I mean, we're not spring chickens anymore, and we don't want to keep moving. Um, so we're working on that. Um, getting out of the house more, um, you know, taking care of ourselves better, eating right, exercising more, you know, being more mobile, uh, it's been doing that. Um, Brad and I, Brad has some issues with depression, not near as bad as mine, but he has had some. I think anybody has had some, um, or just very down times in your life and um so we have a tendency to kind of push each other away and like this last year and a half two years has been probably the hardest in on our marriage i mean in a super long time in over 20 years so i've been letting him in more because it's almost like and i explained this in a previous video that got cut off but it's almost like a dog that's injured and you know that your dog normally is super nice and loving. The dog is injured and scared. And you go to touch the dog. It hasn't happened with my dog, but some other dogs I've had, it has. Um, and they, they snap at you. They growl. They want to be left alone. It's almost that kind of thing. It's like, you know, you know they want you to, to pet them, but they're scared and they're hurt and stuff. So we've been working on that. And one of the things that's happened is... is Sometimes Brad will need me to what we call talking each other down from the pain. <clears throat> you know, when your pain gets super high, especially with Brad, with chronic pain, every day with the back. Um, sometimes those nights are so long and the pain is so bad. And so he'll come down, you know, to my room and I'll talk to him, give him whatever he needs to take for the back. Sometimes I'll give him a back rub or we'll use the massager on his back and I'll talk to him and we'll let that start taking effect and then you can finally get to sleep. Or with the latest stuff that happened with the family drama and uh, I couldn't get to sleep and my insomnia had gotten even worse. Gotten, I wasn't getting to sleep till 7 or 8 in the morning. So I would call Brad and ask him to come down. It got to be the point where it was almost every, every morning about 5 or 6 and then I would want him to sit there until I fell asleep. We've been taking naps more often together. You know, because we're both back there anyway and then cuddled up with the dogs and stuff. So we decided that one of the things, too, was we were, we were going to 
try trial and error to sleep in the same bed. And we haven't slept in the same bed in a lot of years. <laughs> probably 18 years or so. We used to have a water bed, and then we got a waveless mattress. That was nice. But then eventually, you know, we just took separate beds, separate bedroom, you know, um, and stuff. So it, it, that's been working out good. The only thing is we, we need to move the bed because I had the beds up against the wall on one side. So and that's the side I sleep on. So I have to try and scoot down to the bottom of the bed, untangle from dogs and husband and to get out to go to the bathroom so a half hour later i'm finally emerging from the bottom of the the bed the only one not happy about this whole chain of event is mr charlie because he um always slept with me he's a big dog he takes up quite a bit of room he is the type too he won't stop okay guy you don't understand you make him get off the bed. He won't go lay down like Nixie will. He will sit there and sigh. Then he'll put his head on the bed and sigh. You don't dare look at him because he's going to sigh. You'll try to play like you're asleep. He, you still hear him. So you're really ignoring him. Then he'll put his head on you and start sighing. If you're still ignoring him, he will nudge your leg or whatever body part he can get to. And he will cry. So you see those eyes go. Or he'll do that one bark. Or he'll do the one bark that gets you up on the ceiling. <laughs> Once you peel yourself off the ceiling, then he's going to cry and sigh. He will keep it up for hours, you guys. Until you scoot over. And you can have a spot this big and that dog will find a way to fit in it. You know? <clears throat> so, that's the only thing. So Brad and I... Or like, okay, so we're laying like this, right? And the tips of the fingers are our heads. And we end up going like this. So we both kind of got our legs over to the far edge. So Charlie can be there, you know. He's so pathetic sometimes. <laughs> Jellybean, she just tromps right over you. You know, she owns you. She knows she owns you. You know, she's just crazy about Brad too. So and she just wants to lay up on the pillows. Last night, at one point in time, she sat on his forehead with her butt. <laughs> and he's like, this is not what I had in mind. But then he fell asleep like that. I'm like, okay. So, anyway, it is a nice comfort and stuff. Uh, when you go through a lot of stuff, um, especially emotionally and stuff, you feel very alone. And with, you know, deciding that uh, you have to release certain people because they're too toxic, then... You know, you keep around, you get rid of the negative and you keep the positive. And so, yeah, I've been working hard on that. The lovely thing about having the same bedroom, too, is, is that um, we uh, we got to move the bed here in, in a little bit. Or at my point, we have to move it on, so, down. you know, we can both have access to either side of the bed. Um, is uh, that... It will allow me to be able to have an art studio again. And I really, really, really miss having an art studio. I love having a separate room that has my where my art studio is. I don't care if I share it with some storage. But I can go in there and create and I can shut the door and leave it. Nothing is disturbed. That's my space. I go in and I close that door. I have my headphones on and I'm in a different place. And I really miss that. Even though I said, you know, I like, I do like being able to see my paintings in progress and I'll look at them and decide what I want to do next. But I much prefer to have, I had an art studio in the house in Wyoming. I even had one in the ghetto trailer. And, uh, and so now I'll have one here and that'll be nice. So, um, you know, it'll be good. We think we might have saw Brad's, um, feeling so dizzy and faint is he thinks he was super dehydrated he has a tendency to not drink enough and so he's been working on that and that's been really helping so <clears throat> you know that'll help i'm working on 
cutting down on the smoking and overall just quitting so I got this yesterday I I had one I used up this is the um, it's called the um, uh, Nick salt it's got the nicotine in it um, but it, it, you know and I know everybody has their different views on vaping that's how I quit before was the vaping and my doctor saw nothing wrong with it um, and I quit for over eight, eight years so uh, I got another one and then I did order some um, menthol nicotine vape juice last night because I have tanks and batteries and stuff and because the problem with this you never know when it's going to go out and it doesn't give you any indication so then all of a sudden it's out and you're like because like when I in my car and stuff I don't normally will have a cigarette and if I do the windows way down and stuff I don't like smoke my vehicle so and my lungs are not happy with me I'm going to be up front with that um, my lungs are super unhappy with me. Um, I've been having to do more breathing treatments and stuff and, uh, you know, pretty congested. So, you know, I knew that was coming. I'm honest and frank with you guys about this because whether you have maybe have had a problem with, with um, illegal drugs in the past or prescription or maybe drinking or maybe eating or smoking we all usually have some kind of a an addiction or vice not everybody but a lot of us so overcoming the eating which was a big comfort thing for me all my life and stuff you know that's been not super difficult because we're diabetics and we've already had to stop doing a lot of that um but it can be Basically late at night, but um, we're getting there. I'm I'm steadily dropping some weight, and and I can be happy with that. Being more active that helps. So never give up. You may backtrack. You may, and I'm saying no, never give up in, in life in general. Whatever you decide to do about your weight is is up to you. I love people of all different sizes. You know, I'm not going to judge you on that. So. Uh, you know, uh, I'm doing this for health reasons, and I want to be able to get out and do more things. And as he, he gets older, he's going to need more help. And that's the honest truth, is, um, you know, he's going to need more help. He's, he's, he's more frail than he used to be. Of course, we're getting older, so, you know, I have to be able to help him, and vice versa. So, um... You know, just when I say never give up, never give up up on what what you can achieve in dreams, not what is unrealistic, but what realistically you can achieve in dreams. So that's my thing. So anyway, I bothered you guys long enough. Beware of Walmart and their scams because, you know, they want to have you pick up part of your orders and then part of them still going to be delivered from the store even though they say they don't deliver from the store to your address and then you know we've had so many problems with these guys and they don't seem to care we were really loyal customers for a long time especially in Crawfordville we didn't have any other really sh shopping or anything so but they blew off a, a substantial amount of money with us because of poor customer service so they are not our friends so anyway i love you guys and i do cherish your friendship so very much and i will talk to you guys in a few days so um be good and we'll talk to you later bye